Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card. We're using a die set from Photoplay Paper. This is from their Stay It With Stamps collection and it's the Live Laugh Love die. It's a large die that has a shadow behind it and it has a beautiful font that just makes a great focal point. So today's card's gonna be fairly easy, um, but I wanted to create a vintage style card with a large greeting, and I think this is gonna work out perfectly. We're using the Everyday Junk 12 by 12 collection pack. I've used this before. In fact, I'll leave the video um, with the cards that I made at the end if you wanna check it out or if you missed it, I'll have it at the end for you. Okay, so let's pick them out and I'll be right back. The pattern papers that we're going to be using for our card today. Um, I'll tell you the names. We have Music Note. Now really the only thing in Music Notes is the butterfly. I'm going to actually cut, fussy cut out the butterfly and maybe one of these greetings. I thought Life is Beautiful would bring in a, a little bit of color to my background so we may use one of these greetings here. Okay and then for my background we're going to create an A2 panel with the letter pattern paper. I love the black and vintage style diagonal stripes. Okay, and then we're also going to be using the archive. I love this florally print. We're going to create a panel with that. And then I'm going to fussy cut out this butterfly here. This is the memories 12 by 12 sheet. So just the butterfly from this sheet, just the butterfly from this sheet with a few of the greetings. And then for my background, I'm going to be using this one and this one. So I'm going to trim my, I'm going to trim down my pattern papers and we'll create a card. I trimmed down my pattern papers and I also fussy cut out my butterflies. Okay, first what we're going to do to clean up my fussy cut lines, I'm going to bring in a black ink and I'm just going to use my blending tool, pick up a little black ink and I'm going to just go around the edges. This really does hide any perfections that you have with your fussy cutting. It just takes, and then it just makes that butterfly flow, gets rid of all those white edges. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. We'll just add a little ink to those edges. And if you get a little ink on the butterfly, that's okay because we are going for that vintage look. So there's that butterfly. We'll put this away and then we're going to die cut out our greeting. We're going to take the Live Laugh Love and I'm going to die cut this out. I'm going to die cut it out three times with black cardstock. Oh, you can see the font, how beautiful it is. And then with the shadow, I this is the paper that we used for the greetings here and for the butterflies. For what, well, the, actually this butterfly. I'm going to flip it around and use the music note paper for my greeting. I just want to make, since we are using music notes, I just want to make sure that my my greeting, my music notes are right side up. So I'll just layer it, I'll tack it down with a little bit of tape, and I'll run this through my die cut machine. I have my greeting die cut out and my background. Now what we're going to do for a little bit of dimension is stack all of our Live Laugh Loves. So I have glue behind here. What I like to do is start off with my first one on my background. So I'm just going to layer this. I'm going to weigh it down with an acrylic block and then I'll start with my next layer. So now we'll add our second layer. Okay. Let's go ahead and layer. Isn't that so pretty? I just love this. Now I do need to dot my eye. And rather than stack three for my eye, I'm just gonna add one. And that's all there is to our greeting. Now just to give this a little bit of pizzazz, since we are going bold with black, I'm going to bring in a little bit of sparkle using some sparkle shimmer spritz. 
I'm going to spray my butterflies and my greeting with my spritz. Now it doesn't add any color, but it just adds that very light mist and let that dry. Okay, along with our butterflies. And in the meantime, I have my card base. I have a standard A2 size card base. This card base is side folding. And we're gonna add our A2 panel directly to the front of our card. I'm just gonna use my tape runner for this. Lovely. Now I have this panel. This panel measures three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches, okay? I'm gonna mat this on a piece of vellum. I like to do this just to soften it a little bit. And I love adding vellum to vintage style cards. So we're just gonna adhere this. I'll flip this over. We're gonna add some adhesive and we're gonna adhere it to the front of our card. Now I'm gonna take my grating, we're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna add a little dimension by putting some foam tape behind here. We'll just remove the release paper. I'm gonna add this. While I have my foam tape out, I'm gonna add a small piece behind my butterfly here right down the butterfly body, and I'll do the same thing with this butterfly. We'll just add a small piece behind here. We're gonna add this right below our greeting. We'll go ahead and tack that down. Now we're gonna add our butterflies. Now you'll notice I did create some vellum butterflies, but I'm not gonna use that. I think our butterflies are gonna be just beautiful on their own. I'm removing my foam tape from the big butterfly. I'm gonna add some adhesive, and I'm gonna actually add this to the inside of my card. I thought it was just too big for the outside of my card. I just, the font on here is just so gorgeous. I didn't want to mess with my, my, um, my sentiment. So I ended up fussy cutting out one more butterfly. So we have two of the same. Of course, you could use the butterfly in the sticker sheet too. That would, that would work beautifully with this card today. I'm going to go ahead and add one to the bottom. And then I'm going to add one over here. So we'll add this. Wonderful. And then to bring it all together, I have some gems. These are peachy color gems that kind of coordinate with our greeting. I'm just going to fill in the butterfly body with some different sizes of gems here. So we have just a little bit of added sparkle. And then that will finish off my card project for today. Today we used the Say It With Stamps Live, Laugh, Love, Die along with some pattern papers from the lovely Everyday Junk Collection. I hope you enjoyed my project. Thanks so much for visiting. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.